it's uh, it's very helpful <laughs> to use help because if uh, if you don't remember the entire command uh, but just remember the first few characters um, you can just I don't know just put you know the question mark in front of it right? so if you press sh which is stands for show so it's the same thing as if you press show that I'm just abbreviating yeah show IP oh, there we go well, everything related to IP access lists ARP interface see you can just interface see if you don't remember the word how they spell it just you know just press use the 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 question mark and then you uh, Will help you how to uh, to find out the rest of the world. Uh, it is important to verify and check what what you've been doing. You know, there's a there's a tool where you can check out along the way. You know what you were doing with the the, the configuration. You call a uh, show show command, <laughs> and then you can I don't know check for the interface. And then you can just have a look what what has been all the interfaces of of the switch you can see here like a summarization of it faucet net one is down line protocol is down that's because we haven't uh, done any configuration so but it shows everything um, all the protocols if you're there you know the packets uh, the buffer, the, all the, the problems, all the solutions. Oh, startup config is not present. That's because it's a brand new configuration and we haven't done anything. But you can you can see everything in here. I mean, it's like I said, it's important to uh, to check as you go along. So in this case here, if if we if we had anything like you know change the name of host be showing in there that's the host name there is no password set I'll be showing in a minute you know if you put any IP or if you were working on on this party it will be showing in here as well mm, VLANs information line console auxiliary lines everything will be showing in there for you in details on the running comp so uh, let's see what if it shows flash yeah that's the flash configuration let's see there how many bytes you have how many space you have left show version so it shows all the you know what type of uh, route is this it's the same info you get when you uh, reload or reboot your uh, your switch. So it shows the disclosure there with the company name, the model, the version of the iOS, which is in this case is 12.2 uh, for you, and um, you know serial numbers. Okay, my favorite part: uh, passwords. It's important to uh, to define a password for you know console access or for the, the the LAN access if you have like more than one switch as well. Okay, let's uh, configure the password uh, access for for the LAN console. So let's set it up the LAN console password. So you have to get into the global configuration mode. And then type line console zero so you will in the line console connected in there from the iOS then you type the word password Cisco I'm using Cisco just for the training purposes you're gonna find this in most of the training uh, elsewhere and then it's important to type login as well so every time you log in you know yes for your password there's another thing as well I'm gonna record what we just did 
you know just save as uh, because when we reload it it's gonna because it's saved on the RAM memory it's gonna lose it so I'm just uh, type cop running config startup config yeah just standard there is another way as well Quaker XWR it does the same thing just records and then we can reload procedure to reload yes then we just reload it <coughs> it only take a few seconds depend on the system go the line is being configured console by console right see you prompted with asking the the password so the one we typed in was cisco so in this case i'm on the switch as you can see so right, let's save so uh, all right prompting asking the password as well there you go we in okay another important thing as well it's um you have to secure the privilege access see i'm easily can go and make any changes so we have to set a password on the configuration mod the global configuration mod uh, we can type the enable secret and then the password uh, i don't know i'll just put class and then end that's it make sure record it exit then the first access which is the console which is password cisco and then if you want to get to the global mode then you prompt for the password which is, i typed class c-l-a-s-s -S. there we go now we can make uh, changes right, to be able to see what has been recorded you can typing on the privilege uh, I mean on the user access mode you can just type running config then you can see blah, 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 secret password there you see because it's not encrypted on the line console and uh, you can see the password there you can read it and if I have hasn't encrypted the password access it would be showing here as well so because I enabled secret which is a, an encryption um, you can see there the password class how many characters is actually shown in there so that way it will be almost impossible there are ways there are people can uh, they can you know they enable secret 5 they can uh, encrypt the de decrypt this and find out there is another enable secret 7 which I'll be showing later another thing you're gonna be asked to do as well it's the banner the the message of the day so going on the configuration mod the global configuration mod uh, you type the, the word banner M O T D message of the day and then uh, the number and then you uh, your phrase I'll phrase you can uh, use there so that's it see there a little disclosure you can uh, 